Hello, Year 3. Uh, Mr. Smith here. I'm going to be doing some RE with you over the next couple of weeks, so hopefully a topic you're going to really enjoy. It's looking at um, Islamic art. So that is art from the religion of Islam. Um, I wonder if you know, if you can tell me, what the word that we call someone who follows Islam is. Yeah, it's a Muslim. So we're going to be looking at what does Islamic art, that's the art of the Islamic religion and Islamic culture and Islamic countries, what does their art teach us about Allah? Well, this question kind of assumes that you know who Allah is, and I wonder if you do. I wonder if you can tell me before I tell you, who is Allah? Yeah, you might have got that right. It's God in Islam. So Islam is the religion of Muslims, uh, and those Muslims believe in a God who is called Allah. And we're going to be asking, what does their art teach us about that God, Allah? And here are some examples of the art that we're going to be looking at over the next couple of weeks. And it might be art that is a, it's like a style that you recognise. Perhaps you've seen it in a museum. Perhaps you've been to a mosque. Maybe you've travelled to a country like Egypt or Turkey or Syria or Lebanon or really anywhere that has an Islamic culture. Uh, or it might be art that is completely new to you, that's really unfamiliar. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at not just this beautiful art and patterns, and we're going to be making one of our own patterns as well. But we're also going to look at what it means, because there's a reason why Islamic art looks the way that it does. So first, let's answer this question. Who is Allah? A-L-L-A-H, Allah. Allah is the name that Muslims give to God. They believe there is only one God and that Allah is all powerful. So that means they're monotheistic. Mono means one. Theistic is God. So they believe in one God. Um, there are other religions that are similar to that. Christianity and Judaism both believe in one God. Uh, and their gods, the name that they give to the, to the Islamic, the Muslim God, is Allah. Okay, here's a symbol. Uh, or a series of squiggly lines. I don't know, it looks really interesting. Uh, I wonder if anyone can guess or anyone knows, I'd be so impressed if you did, which uh, language this is. It's Arabic. So Arabic is the language that is often spoken by people who are Muslim. It's the language that they read their Quran, which is their holy book in. It's the language that they say their prayers in. Uh, it's the language that they believe the most important human in Islam, who's called Prophet Muhammad, uh, it's the language they believe he spoke. So, as I say, this half term we are going to be seeing what we can learn about Muslim beliefs about God or Allah from their art. Not from their writing, not from their holy book, but from their art, from what they've produced. This uh, squiggly symbol that I showed you in Arabic, it's actually incredibly important to Muslims because this is how they write the name Allah in Arabic, in special um, Arabic that you use in mosques, which is an, a Muslim place of worship. So you'll see it's got uh, you know a, a pattern that you can follow there, uh, but this is called calligraphy calligraphy and calligraphy is a really beautiful way of writing out words so when they write the word Allah they're not just writing it as if you would write your name on the top of a piece of work they are spending and taking time to make sure that it is beautifully and perfectly written and you will see this if you go to a mosque you'll see up above uh, there'll be sections from the Quran sayings of Muhammad but also the word Allah repeated in this beautiful text um, so that is calligraphy. Uh, in your booklet that hopefully you've got, uh, today's task is basically very simply to have a go at practicing some calligraphy. So I've provided you with a little box here that you can fill in, but actually you may want to do it several times over to try and practice. Can you see how some of this um, is very thin and some of this is rather thicker? Uh, these little symbols are all in the perfect place. So you could have a go at home at practicing this beautiful calligraphy of the word Allah. So here are some uh, more facts or some more information about Allah that's going to help us uh, to understand how Muslims see their God 
uh, and why perhaps we haven't just looked at a picture of Allah, why we are looking instead at drawing his name really carefully or their name really carefully instead of just finding a picture of God or like we would find a picture of anyone else. So Allah has always existed according to Muslims. Allah knows everything that can be known. Allah can do anything. There is nothing that according to Muslims there's nothing that God can't do. Allah has no shape or form. Allah is not male or female. So I sometimes catch myself calling God him uh, because that's the way it's been done for hundreds of years. But Muslims don't really believe that Allah has is male or female. They don't believe that Allah has a shape or a body like humans have a body. They believe that Allah can do anything and knows everything and that Allah has always existed outside of time. And that's really difficult to get your head around perhaps, but it does show you just what a distinct and interesting figure <laughs> Allah is for Muslims. And so you start to think, why would it be difficult to draw someone, to draw a picture of someone who had all of these properties? And we're going to pick up that later on next lesson. So it's good to speak to you. I hope you have a lovely week. See you later. Bye bye.